Oh. Welcome back. It's time to play the Ozarks' new favorite game. Who wants to be a dollar nair? Today we are so excited to have contestant from New Jersey. Don't judge her for it. Beth <laughs> Vanillo. Hi, I'm so excited to be here. I want to say hi to my mom and my dad mm -hmm. and my brother and everybody that I know, and it's really exciting. Beth Vanilla, we're so excited you're joining us for Dollar Nair. It's your first time playing. Are yes. you nervous? I'm a little nervous. I am. Okay, I, I have some great questions for you, okay. but it's dueling Dollar Nairs, so your competitor this week is from Rogersville, Missouri. It's Wait, are you from Rogersville? Yes. Yes, okay, I'm right. Roger, Kelly Smith! I can't get through this one. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Hi, I'm so excited to be back. This is my second time to play, and I just want to say um, happy birthday, Grandma, and all my friends are watching, and um, I I've learned a few things. I'm going to use my lifelines a little bit more this time. This, see, yes. I love, Kelly, mm -hmm. you're using your past experience. To do something better. Yes, yes I love that. Mm -hmm. Well, meteorologist Beth Vanello, I picked today's questions because to be a meteorologist means you had to go to college for a long time, and you're very smart. Thanks. So I wanted to make these questions 50-50 hard, 50-50 easy. Okay. Now, okay, here are your lifelines, Beth Vanello. Okay. You can ask a cameraman. Today we have Cody and Sinjin. Mm -hmm. You can ask PCR, which means you can ask anybody up in our control room, and they will get on the mic and tell you what they think the answer is. Or you can Google it on your phone. So you can Google me. Now, the first round is for one penny. Beth Vanello, ready. are you ready? I'm ready. All right, question number one, Beth Vanello. In the human body, where is the smallest bone located? Uh, in what? What? I give you choices first, Beth Vanello. Oh, okay. <laughs> I already knew the answer. A, the toes. B, the nose. C, the neck. Or D, the ear. For one penny. D, the ear. Final is answer. Is that final answer? You are correct! <laughs> For a five cents, a whole okay. nickel. Are okay. you ready? I'm Question ready. number two. What happened to the nose of the Sphinx? Okay. A, a 14th century Sufi Muslim vandalized it. B, it was eaten away by weathering and erosion. C, Napoleon shot it off with a cannon. Or D, all of the above. There are conflicting theories about this. Uh, I'm gonna go with D, final answer. You are correct! <laughs> wow! Why? I'll be back when Beth loses her <laughs> Kelly just left! She's out of here! <laughs> Beth, I, I knew she was smart, but this is ridiculous. Wow! I'm not even that smart, and I'm looking off the paper, okay? I'm over here. <laughs> okay. All right, question number three, Beth Fidello. Are you ready? Yep. Oh, this is a good one. Pop culture. All right. What Atari-made video game was considered one of the worst video games of all time. This is Atari, okay, going back to the 80s. Okay. A, The Empire Strikes Back. B, Superman. C, E.T. Or D, Towering Inferno. So, I have an Atari. Like a <gasps> yes. sick Atari, yeah. I do have one. But I've never heard of any of these games. Okay, this is with old mind. school, I'm guessing. So, I think I'm gonna ask a cameraman. You are very smart because I think they would know this yes. one. Yes, um, and I'm going to ask Cody. He's smiling really big. <laughs> <'Cause> Cody, <laughs> He's smiling. Cody Cody's definitely, definitely asked. Yeah. Yeah, knows this answer. Yeah. Do you have an answer? Yeah, it's uh, C E T. C E T. Final answer. Final answer. Mm -hmm. You're very smart to trust Cody. You're correct. Yes. Thank you, Cody. Cody is on it. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly, why are you here? <laughs> we really need two contestants for this game today. Okay. Give me a chance, Beth. Come I'm on. sorry. I Throw me a bone. The, I do the ear thing. Okay, <laughs> Beth Vanella, for a quarter. Okay. Are you ready? Yep. Question number four. What is on a margarita pizza? Now, you are Italian. I am. You should know this. I do. A, <laughs> tomato sauce, mozzarella, and green olives. B, tomato sauce, mozzarella, and basil. C, tomato sauce, mozzarella, and green peppers. Or D, tomato sauce, tomato sauce mozzarella, or pepperoni. Uh, the answer is B, basil, final answer. Oh, you are correct! <laughs> Wasn't <Wow>. even worried. <laughs> oh, wow, that was that was really good. Yeah, Thank she should have known that one. Did you know that one? No. <laughs> <laughs> you don't eat margarita pizza? It's my I favorite don't. kind. I okay. don't. I love it. All Sounds right. Sounds delicious. It is, it's very good. On to yeah. question number five, Beth Vanello, for okay. 50 cents. All right. What 
is the largest planet in the solar system? Okay. Is it A, Saturn, B, Neptune, C, Jupiter, or D, Uranus? C, Jupiter, final answer. Are you confident with your answer? Mm -hmm. She's a scientist! <laughs> Two away from the dollar. Okay. That's mine. Question, that's Kelly's. <laughs> Question number six. How do bats navigate at night? A, okay. they have night vision like an owl. B, they have an incredible sense of smell like a seagull. C, they hunt mostly by moonlight. Or D, they use echolocation like a dolphin. D, echolocation, final answer. Are you, are you quite confident with the D answer? She yes. sounds pretty confident. Yeah. <laughs> Beth Finello, you are correct yeah. for 75 cents. I knew that one. What in the world? <laughs> sorry, family. I'm so sorry I'm not getting to speak on the show today. I did know that one. <laughs> yeah. We're to, can we yeah. get to the final answer? Bats are oh, actually... Dollar, we're to the final question. Bats are blind. I that's so they okay. use echo I can tell in her answer she's totally sure. Final answer. I know. Kelly can hear it in the tone of her voice. Totally, yes. <laughs> okay, now, Beth Vanella, you still have two lifelines. Okay. We're going. I used to call this a crisp dollar. Kelly, it's not so crisp anymore. No, no. I know. <laughs> I'll try to find it. It's a little one. raggedy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But for Kelly's one dollar, <laughs> you can expense this, by the way. I could. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for one whole dollar, Beth Finello, are you are you ready? I'm ready. You don't want to take your time with this one. Okay. Okay. What famous animated cereal box character was also a famous singer? A. Tony the Tiger from Frosted Flakes. B. Captain Crunch from Captain Crunch. C. The Cuckoo from Cocoa Puffs. Or D. Count Chocula from Count Chocula. Famous animated cereal box character. Who was also a famous singer. Uh, can I use a lifeline? Y yes, quickly. Can I use seconds. PCR? PCR. Does anybody upstairs know this? Anybody upstairs know the answer to this? That's what I would say. Hey, Tony the Tiger, Are final you sure? answer. Beth Finello, you're the only person to get oh! on tonight! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> That was thanks to director Shannon Thank up you, for Shannon. PCR. Yes. You are the first person to get all seven questions right, and I'm going to hand you this beautiful $1 bill. We'll be back. Boom.